Hello, I am IBX Toycat, and welcome back to another live stream on the internet. So, tell tell me this, internet. You're you're excited for Minecraft 1.17, but you have a world you're already attached to, or maybe you find a brand new world, but you're curious about where you get these new features. I mean, everything looks exactly the same as before, but you want some dripstone. Maybe you want to farm some lava. You want some uh, brand new ores. You know, some copper sounds real good to you. Maybe you even want some. Uh, you know, some deep slate. Maybe you want some deep slate ores because, you know, you, you like that they're special. How do you get all these features on your old worlds? And the answer is, you know, quite a simple one uh, that you'll know if you've been around for a while. But if this is one of your first updates, you might not know that the simple answer is find new chunks. How do you find new chunks, though? Um, one way is to look at your world and work out where you haven't, haven't been. That's too much effort. Who can be bothered with that? Here is the faster way to do it. And today I'm going to be showing you what it's actually like in survival all the way via a stream that, you know, magically turns into a video because of the power of the internet. So yeah, basically what I recommend is going long, long away, somewhere where you know that you haven't been before. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be traveling via the Never. That obviously allows us to travel a lot faster. And I'm going to travel like thousands of blocks. We're going to travel like, I don't know, a couple thousand. Thank you, Jack Cuff, for becoming a channel member, by the way. <laughs> Welcome uh, to the club. I'm, I'm very, um, I've been very nervous this last week we removed, uh, you know, we, we had to like change the entire tiers of membership and it meant we lost 250 members in the last month. And uh, so yeah, it's been, it's it's very, very terrifying. But thank you for becoming a support cat. Uh, as you can see from this fun, I even got like a, I've, I've got a little fun thing here. I've got, got a little member goal text, but because text doesn't update, who wants text? No one likes text. What I've also done is I've got one of these and this should, update when someone becomes a member. So we'll see if that works. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for um, for becoming members, people. And so yeah, my plan is to go thousands of blocks away. How do you get thousands of blocks away very easily? You just travel via the nether. 2,000 blocks in the nether is what, like 500? No, it's 250. So now we've traveled about 400 blocks away. So we've traveled easily 3,000 blocks. And if I go somewhere I know I've never been before, if, uh, you know, like, I know there's no portals around here, I know there's no stuff, I can make a portal very, very simply. So I had a ton of obsidian, thankfully, from uh, Monday's Let's Play episode. And uh, so I'm going to make a portal, like, right over here. Actually, I want to make it, like, close to the, the fortress. I think that makes some sense. So I'm going to go, like, up here a little bit. <laughs> Maybe make it on top of the fortress. That might be an even better idea. And um, so, yeah, thank you so much, Fusion Warrior. It is stormy. Wow, you really do live in the New York area too. Look how dark my setup looks. It looks like I'm I'm living all cavey or whatever. But really, I'm just here. Okay, so we're gonna. Oh God, what is happening? I'm getting skeleton to death. Um, I'm gonna place myself a never portal right over here, and we're just gonna see where it goes. <laughs> um, honestly, because I know. Oh my God, you know you're gonna have to die. Everyone's gonna have to die. It's all very terrible. You're gonna have to die. I don't want this, but I, if you want it, I guess this is what we're doing. Ghast. So this is the downside of going via the never. Things get chaotic very... There's a, oh my god. Literally every form of assault that could have happened on this trip is happening. It's fine, though. I'm just gonna go ahead, make one of these. Boom, there we go. Now we can go to the overworld. 3,000... Wait, no, 450. Three and a half thousand blocks away. Thank you, mgala 19 for becoming a channel member. Um... Welcome to the club. I really appreciate you. You're bringing us closer to... I set the goal at 350. That's where we're not losing money from losing the 250 members anymore. Because obviously it was at a cheaper tier. Uh, and so, like, that's my, like, mental uh, easy place. So, yeah, it seems as though I've spawned in the middle of an ocean. But even if you do go to the middle of an ocean, because, again, lots of your world is going to be ocean, you can still find brand new blocks down here. Do I have a... Uh, I've got 16 scaffolding around here. I guess what we'll do, you know, <laughs> this isn't ideal at all, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom of the ocean and look at this. You can, oh, wow, that is insane luck. <laughs> right next to that, you can see an amethyst geode. So um, obviously we'll also be able to find uh, glow lichens around here. I'm going to go to the surface soon, but if you want, you can find glow lichen just like this. We can silk touch it up. And now I've got myself one of Minecraft's new blocks just like that. Easy as that, I've got glow lichen, which I'm excited to farm at some point in the future. Also, thank you, Caffeini, uh, for the five pound tip. 
It says nine. Oh wait, no, that's that's my own screen. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. It's good to see you here today. Also, thank you, Miss Smazzy. Um, oh, oh, do you like chunk blending? I really do like chunk blending. Oh, thank thank you for the the outpouring of love today, internet. <laughs> I've 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 been excited to play this on my world all day, and I've been saving it for the stream so you can I, like so you can actually see my process. Because again, I think I think there is real value to actually seeing uh, this stuff. Uh, happen right as opposed to just like a guide where someone hops in creative and does it there's a there's a value to doing this um in survival to me so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place down a torch and oh there actually we could have just entered normally this was all unnecessary also listen to this hey thank you dasha it's good to see you also welcome to the club um look at this noise oh that's so good okay so yeah this is um I honestly don't know how often I'm gonna want to use this one, but we're gonna try and find any. Oh yeah, we're gonna. Maybe I should just mine the entire thing because it's in the bottom of the ocean. Or I could use it as a way to get some calcite blocks. Would love some calcite, right? You know, yeah, yeah. Let's mine some calcite. Let's take some calcite back with me, just in case I decide I want that. Um, that seems like a good idea. That seems like a nothing could go wrong idea. Also, in this update, they've improved vision underwater like substantially, which I really like. And uh, so yeah, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place. Uh, some andesite blocks, I guess. So andesite goes there. And then we'll place a stone block, I guess. And then we'll place a smooth basalt block. Oh god, get away from me, drowned. <laughs> Baby drowned, too. Uh, thank you, Poth, uh, Manaketa, for the, for the rupees, I believe. Um, and hi, Rosie Pharaoh, it's good to see you. Are you doing good? You doing better? Is everything, everything strong over there? Uh, Mountain Man 894 I heard that Toy Cat uh, used 1% off the, uh, his power and all house fires, and a thousand kilometers instantly went out. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that story is true, but what I am saying is, you know? So look at that, by the way. In the first, how many minutes have we been going? Not many, right? We've already found, oh, we're way away from where we need to be. We've already found ourselves calcite. We've already found ourselves smooth base salt, some amethyst blocks. And of course, we've got some glow lichens, glickens. Whatever, lich ends. Can you probably pronounce my last name? Uh, Ali, Ali Hadijev, did, did, did Jeff, did Jeff, Ali Hadijev. I'm gonna guess, that's my, that's my best that I can do right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place an amethyst block right over like here, just so you, it's like clear that this is an amethyst thing. And yeah, we're gonna see if we can fly from here to there. We can't, it's a spoiler alert. So yeah, this is this is pretty cool. I like that this exists. There's not much I can do with it. Um, we can also go looking at, also look at the, oh, the noise. It's just, it's so beautiful. Minecraft, Minecraft and good sound design. Can you name a better combination? Also, there's an x level over there. I'll take it now, just cause like, I guess I, I mean, why why wouldn't we, right? Come on, no wait, wait, come for me, buddy. So yeah, did you know x -Lot oh, and there's a glow squid there too. Look at that, see, oceans. Great way to get new blocks. A fun fact, by the way. Oh, Lord. Let me out of her. A useful fact that you might not know is that I don't believe Bedrock has made the... Thanks for being here today. Thank thank you for being here today. You know, I all I have to do is show up with an interesting can of... Is, is that a melon on there? You know, you, you I, I appreciate you uh, coming in and saying hello. Uh, it's good to see you, Jackie Ann. Um... Also, uh, yeah, I, uh, so, so we got, we got all of these blocks already. We got glow, glowing sacks as well. It's pretty easy to find new stuff. If you go to an ocean, you can get very lucky with a lot of this stuff. Um, but even better, if we fly, uh, this way, maybe? I'm not sure which way. Should we fly this way, see what we get, and then turn around if it doesn't work? Okay, so this way yields nothing, so we'll just turn right around. So we find nothing that way. But if we go this way, I'm sure we'll find something, right? Imagine we don't find- oh, there we go. No, that's it. That's it. Oh, whoa. I have been here before. Probably, right? Because there's a fi- there's a fireball. Unless that came from the ghast. I want to see where this goes now. I'm- I'm invested in this fireball. Oh, oh, oh. Is it going to hit something? Is it going to hit something? Oh, it totally did. <laughs> oh, that was- man, that wasn't- a, that was an adventure, right? We have started a forest fire. You know, if the forest could just subscribe, I'd be extra cat. Thank you, Sergeant Midnight. For becoming a member on the channel. We're now just, what is that? I think that's funny enough, there's 69 members away. Oh no, it's 79 members away from the from the break even point of all the lost members over the weekend. Uh, thank you so much, Peak Entertainment. <laughs> new, new stream title, Toy Cat Follows Fireballs. 
and sees if they uh, do things. So obviously these are new chunks. Oh, you can, oh, here's a fun thing. If you are like me, you've gone old world, you've been here for eight years, how do you know if it is like one that you can find new blocks in? I think the easiest telltale, the most common one, is gonna be copper. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and grab our second pickaxe, fortune. Always mine copper with silk touch or with fortune, if you can, obviously in the early game, just don't worry about it. But look how much copper I can get now. Look, look at this insanity. I'm gonna even, uh, I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and show you one block of copper mined with fortune three, four. That's actually not so great. Another one, there we go. We got eight from that. Uh, this one, three, this one, 12, <laughs> this one, six, this one, eight, and this one, 12 again. Oh my God. We've almost got a full stack of iron already. Uh, sorry, of uh, raw copper already. And so yeah, if you find copper in a chunk, or sorry, not, not even in a chunk, they're doing biome blending now. So if you find copper in a place, it is probably unexplored. That is a good rule of thumb to use. So we're just gonna go deep into this cave, I guess. Give it an explore. Oh, it's not a very good cave, is it? Should we go out or should we just make it our own cave? Let's make it our own cave, you know what? Let's, let's make the cave. You know what, be the change you want to see in the world. You wanna see a cave? Make a cave. You know what, should I do this? I'm not too sure. Hey, how do I become a member? Says novel 8 x I think there's a link at the bottom of the description in my videos. Um, if you're on iOS, you just have to go to the browser app. Cause if you do it through iOS, they take some money. Why are they like that? You know, let's not talk about Apple today. Let's instead say, um, also um, Nugs and Ranch, thank you for being a new member. I appreciate you. Sorry, I missed it. So I need to get out of here. How do I do that? You know what? No, I'm going, I'm going down. The game is forcing me to continue on my little quest. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna hope that the, the forest fire isn't getting so bad. So Kat, why is it so dark there? Uh, Cause it's storming in New York, like real bad. <laughs> so the sun goes away when it storms. I thought that was just Minecraft. I genuinely, okay, you know what? This is embarrassing. Toy Cat learns about the real world stuff. I genuinely just assumed like, yeah, that's, that's how this goes, right? Ooh, we found a cave. Right behind some coal too. Um, so look at that, by the way, we just got, oh wait, obviously that's existing. Oh man, I, I can see why raw ore blocks need to exist. I've already got myself 73 copper. If I mine this as well, I mean, it's going to be an insane amount of copper. Honestly, the experience you're going to get from my, uh, smelting copper alone is going to be a game changer for a lot of people. Um, it's going to be a big problem for a lot of other people. So we're going to make it, I'm going to make a 1.17 features box. We're gonna fill this up with new features that we've gotten from 1.17. Glow Lichen, Bucket of Axe Lotto, and Glow Ink Sack, good. Amethyst Thingamajiggy, yeah. Calcite, heck yeah. Um, some coal ore is not brand new, but what is, is the new raw copper, heck yeah. So we've already got ourselves six features. I could actually grab some copper blocks as well, if I remember not to destroy them when I go past them. You know, never gonna remember that. Oh, no, no, okay, here they are. We're gonna silk touch these, just so we have some copper lying around, you know? It's nice to have some. How's your day going? Hey, Pixie Husk, how is your day going? You know what, let me reverse this question onto you. My my day's been going really good. Um, it's been a very, um, it's been a very crazy day because today is not only the day the update comes out, so there's a lot of things I've been testing out for a video that hopefully you'll see soon tomorrow. Um, but also, yeah, again, we're gonna be going, going fast on this stuff, I hope. Um, but also, um, it's, uh, the day I've been sending off a bunch of house documents. Like, very, 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 very important. Like, you know, there's, there's hundreds of, there's, there's, there's it's, it, I, I've been doing some very important things. Um, and so it's been, uh, it's cool, cause like, I finally, it, it looks like, it's, it's been a good day. I finally think that's all gonna be going well. Um, <laughs> I had a huge... There's lots of lots of questionability that's been happening, but it's finally going in the right direction at least. So yeah, if you want to find uh, Deep Slate and Tough, actually I've probably found Tough and just ignored it already. But Tough is just found randomly in caves. So we're gonna find Tough, we're gonna find Deep Slate. Oh, this is what I was looking for, thank God. Pointed Dripstone, as best I know, I don't think you can like bone mill it or anything. You just have to find a ton of it or you can let it grow maybe. Either way, we're just gonna take as much of this as we can. I want, okay, we're not gonna let the creeper blow it up, blow it up either. Let's, I'm very much anti creepers blowing stuff up when it comes to new blocks. So yeah, in case you're curious, the brand new cave biomes, air quotes. Also the creeper was weakened from the uh, falling one of these because you can now die 
from this. Is it a smart thing to do? No. Is it going to happen to you eventually if you're not careful? Yes. But, um... Oh, here's Deep Slate as well. Heck yes. Oh, and Tough. There we go. See, it's it really is pretty easy. If you believe in yourself, you can find all these things. It's going to be quite tough to find this stuff, says Harrison Gray. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. I, uh... You know, I, I enjoy the puns. Oh, so this is this is something... Uh, Harrison, if you're here right now, this, this clip will be useful tomorrow. Wow, look, I found some deep slate copper. Should it exist? I don't think so. But is it mine anyway? That's yes, awesome. yes it is. Another message for the best of luck. Sorry. Thank you, Pixel Husk. Wait, is it Pisky, Pixie Husk? You know what? How embarrassing. You know what? You're nice to me, and I even misspell your name. I would like to apologize and say I hope that your day is going well too. So I'm going to take all of this uh, deep slate with me. I genuinely... Also, I'm going to take the copper ore blocks. Again, I I might mine this at a future point. I'm not too sure. But, um, yeah, I want to take a ton of deep slate with me. I'm sure at some point deep slate will be oversaturated and I'll be like, why did I ever want so much of that? But I'm going to take all this deep slate to see how much tough actually generated here. It's such a weird block deep slate. Oh, by the way, I think it's only randomly rotated on bedrock, so it'll look different if you're playing Java. Quirky facts. Um... But yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and do this. So tell me if I'm wrong. I think I got all the major blocks besides Deep Slate Ores. Obviously, there's lots of different ones. Um, and I also haven't got the Lush Cave stuff because you have to trade and whatnot for that. We'll, we'll, we'll dive into it. But look how fast we got so many blocks. That was really pretty cool, actually. So is that a full stack yet? That is a 38. We can go for a little bit longer. And so this is tough. Tough is found randomly right now. Um, off the update, I think it's going to be 0 to 16 only in random layers, but you know, it's a block in Minecraft. I genuinely can't tell you what it's useful for. I would be willing to bet not much right now, but I hope I'm wrong. Um, and then we've also got, this is the exciting one to me, um, dripstone. So dripstone, obviously you get dripstone itself, it looks like this. Be careful when you mine it, mine from the top up I think is the, is the pro tip strategy. Um, actually not, can you mine the whole thing at once? Or will it just cause the... You know, I guess you can mine the entire thing at once, maybe. Don't know if it's smart to. Anyway, so my point here is you want to get a lot of this. If you like me, you're a if you, you like the idea of farming lava, then go ahead and grab you a lot of this. Also, the blocks can only be found around here. Which, why is Deep Slate spawns on this Ted psychology? I think it only spawns down fairly low, like 0 to 32. Uh, it might be 0 to 16, but it's just, it's random splodges. There's no lair for Deep Slate anymore. Here you have been having a good Minecraft and house buying day. Hope the storm doesn't knock out your power. I don't, don't believe that people get their power knocked out by storms. I am already tired of <laughs> Yeah, I, um, I, I went to, I was in Texas and it was so humid and I was like, thank God I'm back in New York. And it's been some of the most humid days like since I got here. I, you know, honestly, this is why America is a failure of a country. It's too humid here. How can anyone live in humidity? They can't. You know, what? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just this. This is the reason you really can't live in America. Is, is there any part of it that doesn't get humid or hot at any point? Also, look at this. What is that actually? Is that a dripstone in the water? Am I, am I crazy? Chat. What? Am, is that dripstone in water? Is it meant to be? You know, let's not think about it too hard. Let's just instead take all of these blocks. Because again, I want to have all of this. I'm just going to take the entire biome with me. Because it's kind of fun. Honestly, Toy Cat destroys an entire dripstone biome. Could be a fun thing by itself. Uh, just to clarify, these technically aren't biomes yet. They're just blocks that generate in regular caves. There's no explicit way to find them. They just exist in cave systems. So go exploring in a cave system. You should find one sooner rather than later. Um, jump on it and see. Yeah, oh, you know, that's... I, you know, Josh Harris, that is... Like, I know that you're being funny, like, jump on it and see, like, ha ha ha, you'll find out if you're dead. But, like, water should remove your full damage. But then... Also, um, Scopsy Cat, I'm sorry, you beat the end dragon for the first time on Bedrock 2? Thank you for being the inspiration. I'm sorry I'm, I, I did. I'm I'm terrible, and I, I... You deserve better than me. Thank you for... So that's so weird. That, like, I'm standing on water right now. That's, that's very weird. My feet are clearly in the water, but like, I'm not in water, right? Oh, that is very strange, actually. What do you reckon about this, chat? How do you, how do you feel about it? <laughs> I'm, I've got mixed feelings. 
That's this is this is gonna be useful for something. I don't know what it's gonna be useful for, but it seems useful, right? It seems like there's something cool going on there. Um, is that deep slate redstone? Nope, don't care. Oh look at this. It thinks it's one block. If I mine it, does it mine the entire thing? Oh, that is so strange. Oh, that's very weird. <laughs> okay, glow lichen for me. Glow lichen, if you will. I don't think I'm ever gonna want the dripstone blocks, but like, it's better to have some than to not, right? This is my my flawed attitude. Um, you know, you, you gotta remember that your time is worth something. But you know, my time is worth something only when I mine dripstone blocks. Yeah, it's such a weird, like the, the way it's filling here, it's almost like a structure more than a biome right now. I guess that's probably how they implemented it. Uh, trap with powdered snow. Oh yeah, that's smart. When it rains in the real world, I'm definitely gonna get some powdered snow. That's gonna. I think powdered snow is one of the, probably the hardest block to get in this update because it relies on that uh, whole thing. Hey, right, there we go. Look at that. All the dripstone got them. Yeah, it's 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 so weird the way they implemented these. Uh, I, I I know I know they had to do some on the spot stuff. But it doesn't make it not weird. Ooh, I like the noise for Deep State. Again, what 1.17 has some some real nice sound design to it, in my opinion. You, you can say lots of things about this update. You can't say it doesn't sound good. You can't say the sound is not to your satisfaction. Okay, so I'm gonna run through the cave real quick. Just see where it takes me. Maybe I find some more Deep Slate ores, you know. Uh, we could even probably find out the Deep Slate thing. Like, at what layer, what's the highest layer we'll find Deep Slate? Because I'm going to guess 0 to 16, just because, like, that that's kind of the current deep down, you know, level that exists in Minecraft. Um, we'll see for sure, though. This is basically Minecraft ASMR. You're welcome. Let's do some ASMR. But yeah, I've been having a really good day today. I, um, I hope that I have many more good days that come soon. Oh, look, a cute little axolotl. Isn't that nice? Um... And yeah, I, I totally recommend that people do the same kind of thing right here. Just go in your caves, do some prep. It'll be good. It'll be real good. Um, say what you want about 1.17, but we got goats and they can scream. Yeah, I, uh, a part of me wants to mock it and be like, you know what, really? And a part of me realizes, like, you know what, that is genuinely a very important thing for a lot of people. Like, the cute aspects of Minecraft are huge. And even, even though if you're, like, really into the game, you can doubt that and you can be like, you know, should it be so huge? The truth is it is, whether you like it or not. Um, you know, to a lot of people, they're like, eh, there's nothing in the update I care about. Wait, did you say, did you say there are goats? Okay, let's, let's check it out. I'm gonna go get me a mountain goat. Um, and that, uh, is a fun reminder. Oh, it's, they're placing deep slate, fun noises. I do like it. See, I'm finding it down here at, like... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 is the limit. I'm, I'm like 90% sure. New ores feel like a texture pack. Yeah, it really, like look at this lapis and tell me you don't feel like I'm playing texture pack Minecraft. Like it, it's, I think after a while it will adjust and it'll be fine. But right now at least it's like this. By the way, I've got this very bizarre Kalamasi sparkling water. I like, I like weird drinks, even though I know I hate them most of the time. You gotta try it sometimes. Ooh, ooh, that hits a weird part of my tongue, I guess. I think the problem is that like, all tasty drinks have sugar in them, but sugar be bad, yo. And so how do you make things that aren't sweet so don't need sugar or sugar replacements? You make them taste terrible, that's how. My dad got the job he was applying for today, 1.17 released, and I get to watch one of your streams. Today's a good day. Hey, thank you so much, Flencher4. I am I'm happy all those things happen. I hope more good things happen. I hope this is just the start of more good things. Okay, so big plan here. Oops, might, might, have, might have just uh, put my hand too hard on my laptop there. Uh, now we're gonna get out of it. We're gonna find, um, actually, is it raining? We wouldn't be able to hear if it was. So I, I actually don't remember the way I came in here. I'm guessing it was like via this. Yeah, it's gotta be right. So we jump up to there. We'll follow the torches to get out. It'll be a simple system, I bet. Uh, and then I want to mine some of the iron that I've previously collected. Like this is this is the big moment of satisfaction. Yeah, you, you wait till one point, you know, seventeen comes out, and then when it does, you know what you get to do? You get to mine all your iron because now 
when you mine iron, my inventory is very full. I shouldn't mine iron. Should I at least, like... Yeah, I should do something about this, right? Like, throw away the stone sword and show you that when you mine iron with fortune, now you don't just get one. I say as I get one. It looks a lot like raw rabbit, right? Am I, am I crazy? Uh, you don't just get one. You do just get one. You don't just get one. You can get up to two or two or one or one or two <laughs> or one. You know, that's terrible. You know, I... This was a mistake. What what am I even doing here today? That's that's the question I should be asking myself. Uh, rabbit ore. It totally is the rabbit ore. It's a block you mine, and you get rabbits in exchange. Is that is that worthwhile? You better believe it is. So I remember I came into this cave from like this angle. I don't remember coming down for it though. I definitely they come from over here. Yeah, there we are. And now we leave. I'll, I'll place some torches just so if I do come through, I'll remember the way. Um, so, uh, is the old iron the same in pre-1.17? If you are lost, just make a new cave. <laughs> you know, isn't that beautiful? That isn't, isn't that truly what you'd expect from a cave update? If you're lost, just make a new cave. Just do it. Oh, okay, that was smart. I am currently inside of a grass block. It looks like a moss block though, right? Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna wait for rain while also trying to find a wandering trader. So there's not really a way to find a wandering trader. Um, actually, yeah, I think every feature so far, every, every feature we need now, besides, um, so glowberries we need to find an abandoned mineshaft for. How do you find an abandoned mineshaft? There's lots of ways. Uh, none of them are particularly uh, huge and easy. Uh, we need to find some moss blocks. We'll find those under the water, I guess. Yeah, let's, let's fly backwards. Let's... Let's find a shipwreck. How do you find a shipwreck? You, you look in the water and you see what you see. Is anyone seeing a shipwreck? I'm not seeing a shipwreck. So yeah, if you, um, a watering potion actually could be wise for this update to allow you to find some things. You're not gonna find any deep slate ores up here, but you will find some glow lichens. You'll find some drowns. If you kill those drowns. I've, I've heard people say that like, oh, it's such a smart thing. Kill drowns as a way to get copper. There's no way this is ever going to be faster than mining co copper, as you've seen. But as you can hopefully see, right here, look at this. Okay, that's rotten flesh still. No, no. Th th this one, though, surely. Okay, we didn't get a single copper. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at that. That is rotten flesh. It looks kind of like copper, though, in the same way raw rabbit and raw iron look similar. See, we're just going to find a try and find a shipwreck somewhere around here. And if we find one, we get some moss. It's very easy. I'm gonna drink my terrible drink. Cause um, one of the weird psychology points in humanity is how we like, just to avoid boredom, we're willing to put ourselves through pain. And that's why so many interesting drinks are just like, yeah, we don't taste good. So what? So what if we taste terrible? You're gonna buy us anyway, and you're gonna like it. Cause that's what you like. You want bad drinks, and you've proven it by buying this, this beverage, sir. Um, and that's fine. And that's that's what makes them so interesting. Um, so, uh, yo, I just found out about killing drowned for copper. If you have a drowned farm, you'll get some copper. Even with a drowned farm, though, you're better off just going and farming the block yourself. Okay, so yeah, we're looking for an ocean wreck. I don't know why we're not finding one. They are uh, less common on bedrock, if I'm not mistaken. And we want to find some loot. Um, have you mined your iron ore yet? No, don't, uh, you know what, uh, Eric, L, Eric, Holt Green, uh, I have some exciting, to, later this stream, we're gonna get that, it's gonna be very good, it's gonna be, it's gonna be the highlight, oh, there we go, that's a shipwreck, right, there's no way that's not a shipwreck, yeah, there we go, also look how tall this piece of kelp is, you know, excessively tall, I would say, so, um, we're gonna throw away the, you know, what? I don't wanna throw away any of this, I can't bring myself to do it, but I'm going to have to so I can pick up some moss, should it exist. So get ready for this, isn't it? Um, but yeah, basically, um, an interesting thing. Break the bottom. Says, uh, Delta Corpse. You know what? Break the bottom. Very good idea. That is, that is my favorite relationship advice, too. Okay, so 
I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, nope, that's just a treasure map. Second chest, please be a second chest. I know there is one and I'm just dumb and can't find it. Oh, I think it's there, right? Maybe. So we go back to the surface. We'll just uh, wait a second, enjoy ourselves, get our full oxygen back and then sprint back down. Except sprinting in the ocean is actually uh, swimming. So yeah, this chest is in a separate room. Come on, let me in, let me in. Why can't I come in? Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> Can you not swim through one by one gaps anymore? Um, it's okay, I found screaming goats. Uh, congratulations. They do scream, and that is very exciting. You know, have you ever wanted to annoy people, but like in Minecraft now? Guess what? Just the feature for you. Ah, oh, you know what? This is terrible. I don't want this. What, what am I meant to do with this? This is a moss. Honestly, I was just like 99.9% .9 sure I'd find a chest and they'd have moss in. I didn't even plan for the alternative. Who does, you know? Who plans for their own failure? Smart people, that's who. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my uh, my deep slate redstone because I wanna keep that, the third chest. I don't know that there there is a third chest. Great. Um, You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look anyway. You know what? Maybe there is one. I know sometimes they, they have a, a third chest. You know what, if, you, if you've misled me, I'll feel very betrayed. Um, yeah, I can believe that somewhere around there there's one, but I don't think there actually is. Um, I found sh four shipwrecks, no moss. Yeah, I think the odds are, uh, they're not like against you, but they're not particularly for you either. What is this? Oh, it's sand. I was like, is that calcite? What is that doing there? See, so yeah, if you want to find um, amethyst geodes, I recommend just swimming in your ocean because while you're looking for a shipwreck, you're about as likely to find an Amethyst Geode. So if, like me, um, let's swim through this ocean. There's nothing in this ocean. It's a very nice ocean, but it's just an ocean. Um, do you know that potions stack to 16? I've always found it weird that certain Minecraft items stack to 16 without any real explanation of like, why? Um, like glass bottles stack to 16, right? But why why would glass bottles be 16 if glass stacks to 64? And there's free glass and free bottles, and bottles are clearly smaller than glass. The answer is don't think about it too hard. <laughs> if you think about things too hard, they break you, okay? So yeah, here is, um, I kind of want to kill some glow squid, but here is my amethyst geode. I'm hoping in the time since I was last here. Is this, is this ready to break? Let's break it. So I got one. That's nice. I'm gonna go ahead and put put some stuff in my little shocker box. Uh, yep. This is so. This is this is my little shocker box for all my new items I've collected. <gasps> Wait. Okay. No, I'm crazy. Um, man, you are annoying mobs, huh? Anyway, so um, here is my little shocker box where I'm storing all my new 1.17 items. Got some dripstone. Got some uh, dripstone blocks, more of them. I got myself some deep slate. Got some deep slate copper, as well as some regular copper ore. Got an amethyst cluster. Is that difference to an amethyst shard? Am I crazy? That's, you know, I'm gonna mine, I've never, I've never tried mining one of the ones. Is that just nothing? Oh no, you get something. You get a small amethyst bud. So can you craft anything from it? Or do you just put it right back down and wait for it to grow again? I guess you put it down and wait for it to grow. So um, again, I, I don't know if this is accurate. This is what I've heard and not tested yet. Um, I've heard that if you like mine the blocks around one of these, so like mine that block, there's another place that a crystal can grow now. If you, let's look at the top right here. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look at this. Yeah, this is real nice. This is a little, little crystal. That's definitely complete, right? That's definitely ready to go. Is it, is it though? Is it actually? Nope, got an Amphis Cluster again. I feel like an Amphis Cluster isn't good. Hey, you come into DC and get smoked out by a support cat. Haha, <laughs> it's been a great Saturday. Um, thanks, uh, so cat is yes. Hey, thank you, um, Mgala. Oh, I missed, um, McBella. Cheap cat tip until next time. Hope you are well. Uh, how'd I miss so many tips? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, where, where did they all go? Um, break the cluster with fortune. Oh, so it, the cluster is just, okay, it, that's what it is. You can silk touch a cluster, or if you want, 
you can place the cluster. I totally forgot about this when the update came out. It was like a big confusion point people had. And I've just fallen for the same confusion point. So we place that down, we place that down, and then we mine with fortune. Oh, we got eight of them. And then we get 12. About 12, 12 amethyst shards. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. So this will just be my amethyst geode where I can hang out. Can I place them down again? No, you can't. You, can you craft them into amethyst blocks? You can if you want to. Wouldn't recommend it. Would recommend just mining around here. Um, thank you so much, Mgala. Thank you. If I could add one more to the game, what would it be? Uh, the pea-colored cow. Just just to see how people would react. Um, choose an interesting mob name. Stalker, client, shrubbery, strash. Uh, it'd be strawberry. No, it'd be, it'd be shrubbery. Because that, no, actually, that's too much like a creeper. You know what? All those, all those names are bad. I won't choose. Um, if you also 1.17 is less than I thought it was going to be. I thought we'd at least have new cave gen. I think there's one type of new cave. Um, I haven't been able to confirm it because if you look around any world generation, it looks the same. So maybe it's not there. Um, but I have heard that. Craft the shard with two copper ingots into a spyglass. Yeah, I might just do precisely that. That is a very good idea. Did I bring my box with me? I did. Okay, so chat. We got all the blocks now, but the question is why? You might, you might validly ask, why do you even want some new blocks? And here is my answer. Um, did diamond rates change? Interesting answer to that question. Interesting answer. Um, okay, so let's go. Oh, yeah, you're not... Let's just fly out there, you're not... Gosh, I'm gonna tell me what to do. I'm not gonna let them. I might make, like, a little amethyst box around that portal or something. Would be fun, right? So I'm gonna do now. I've got all my lovely new blocks. I've got my amethyst shard. I've got my... Even more delightful, um, tough blocks. You know, tough is just a, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to do something. It's going to be great. I'm going to make something really fun. Um, we're going to, we're going to take a lot of these blocks back. Now, actually, you know, yeah, we're going to take these blocks back. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, mine, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it finally. I know, I know you want this. You want to see this glorious moment? All of these... All of these weeks of iron mining culminating into one glorious place upon. Um, but first I'm gonna set up the dripstone things for lava cauldronifies. You know, basically I want some lava cauldrons. Uh, so I'm gonna make sure they're like working first and then we'll, we'll go. What does amethyst do, says Josh Kinley. Um, amethyst, uh, so amethyst shards by themselves are just items, you know, in the same way that like a pickaxe is just an item. Or a better example is like, I don't know, a copper ore. But um, then you can craft them into a spyglass, should you want one. Should you want one being the key operand there. Um, and then uh, what you can also do with them is you can make tinted glass. Tinted glass is kind of an expensive recipe, but there's some really cool things you can do with it. I the, My favorite one is, um, I showed it off in the, in the All Features video on Monday, yeah, which is yesterday, I guess. Man, the days of the week aren't gonna make sense to me for a while. But um, yesterday, uh, like uh, Adorable Ho did a really good job of like showing what it can do in that sense of things. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna fly to the other side of the world. Should we fly? You know, what? let's watch our carbon footprint and fly all the way, and then say we're watching our carbon footprint. Um, also, um, the new 1.17 jukebox says, "Oh oh, uh, hardcore bedrock for 1.19." I. I think that, like, okay, my my estimation, Java is gonna be have has gonna have to work a lot harder on 1.18 than Bedrock is. That is that is how I understand things. Maybe I'm wrong. That is that's my feeling uh, on it. And so in that time, it would be cool if maybe we got some features like that. Is that how it's gonna work? Ah, uh, you know, more optimistic things have gone worse. Uh, but it's it's a possibility at least, right? Okay, so now what we can do is we can throw our raw iron ingots into a furnace. No, wait, wait, yeah, yeah, and then we can smelt them. Or we could make a, a fun block out of that. You can also put deep slate redstone in there. Really wouldn't recommend that either. And we're going to throw our diamond ore into this chest, because that's where the diamond ore goes. And in the meantime... Okay, chat, are you excited for this? It's going to be happening soon. 
very, very soon. First off, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to grab all of these. 49 pointed dripstone. I'm going to need more than 49. <clears throat> I should have waited to find another dripstone biome, really. Should have waited to find another one. This is this is what second guessing will do to yourself. Um, but look, look at this. Okay, I'm excited now. I can officially start turning these lavas into these more lavas. So place that, 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 that. We could also do one here and there, but it's not going to do anything. So yeah, this this is a cool feature in this update, in my opinion. If you have a whole to oh wait, is there a block here? It is. Oh, they place randomly in the block so that it feels interesting. Oh, that's very strange. I don't like that. But if I stand here for long enough, one of these will turn into lava. It's very exciting. And by exciting, I mean it can be tedious. Do, 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 do. I'm also going to... Oh, whoa, it happened. There we go. Look at that. So now what we can actually do is... I don't have a bucket around here. Is there one up here, maybe? I bet there's one in here. There is, in fact, one in here. So now I can take this lava that just magically appeared, and it's free real estate. It's mine that I can now scoop the up -dee and place up here. And now I've got, get this, more lava. I'm going to put it like, I don't know, over uh, two blocks over here. No, wait, three blocks over here. We place it there. Uh, yeah, there is fine, if a little dangerous. Yeah, it feels very dangerous. Um, yep, let's do it. Screw it. So we place our lava there. Oh, very, very dangerous. Oh, and now we've got a fire problem. Fire problem. No, 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 no. Okay, so what we need, to, we have to fill this space with something. We'll fill it with, uh, I don't know, deep slate redstone. Makes as much sense as any other block. <laughs> and uh, then we also have to do something over this block, but that's fine. Um, and just like that, we now have more space for more cauldrons and more dripstone to come off them. How very exciting, right? So yeah, that's, that's fun. And while that happens, we could set up more cauldrons first, but like 11, that's fine. Is, can you even name a number bigger than 11? I can't. And so, uh, speaking of things I can't name, I'm now going to do something very fun. Because I, I collected a lot of iron over the last while. Kind of ready for this moment. It's like arbitrage. Like, if you mined, uh, if you smelted iron before this update, you get one iron for every iron ore you mine. If you mine and smelt it after this update, uh, where is it chilling? It's over here, right? Uh, we'll, we'll go nice and simple now. We'll just go with 256 iron. A small amount, I know. Very... And I'm going to do it, like, right in the middle of my big flatland. I, I flattened this myself. If you're new to the world, as I... Statistically, some number of people, especially after an update comes out, this is the first time seeing anything. So this is a silly world. I know, I understand. And, um... Welcome to the channel, by the way. Are you doing good? I hope you're enjoying yourself. Um, why are you standing while playing? Does it look like I'm standing? You know, I got a standing desk. I'm just kidding. You just can't see my chair. Because I've got, like... It's like a dining chair. You know, they don't even have gaming chairs when you rent apartments in America. I don't know why. Uh, more different breeds of dogs in the future of Minecraft. That is the most requested feature. By such a wide margin, I don't even understand. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, isn't this fun? Isn't this great chat? Don't you enjoy this? He has good posture. Thank you for the good posture comments. You know, more people should be more complimentary more of the time. I chose to do that to show you. This is what one stack of iron looks like. But we don't just have one stack of iron. You better believe we've got... Oh, man, this is going to be impossible to land, actually. Oof, we did it, though. We don't just have one stack of iron. We've got another stack. <laughs> Why would an apartment be furnished with a gaming chair? So that you can get your, your MLG Minecraft moments locked down. No, yeah, honestly, gaming chairs are a terrible idea anyway. I'm not I'm not sure why they're so common. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, that, that was a good land, right? There's a lot of iron with fortune. You're going to have loads. Okay, chat, I want you to make your guesses right now. Let's, let's have a, let's make it a fun little game. How many, I've got 256 iron ore blocks, um, that I'm going to be placing right here. How many raw iron am I going to pick up when I'm done here? Oh, I need to put some of this away. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to pick it all up right. But how, mu how much am I going to end up with? Ayo Dent, bro, I remember you talking about how you save your ore in case they become more valuable in the future, and you were right. <laughs> I'm glad you remember. I, I don't like to 
gloat too often. But there is this good rule, like, don't use stuff in Minecraft till you need it. Generally speaking, they make it more useful, not less. And if they do make it less useful, you have a ton of advance notice to just, like, do it. Um, oh god, we're at the height limit, and somehow that made me take damage. Um, so now what we're going to do, just for fun here, is we're going to place some blocks over here. And then I guess we'll just... Yeah, if we, if we do all of this, that should be about enough to equal the same as a thing, right? Nope, that's not gonna... That's not gonna use up all the iron. Um, so if this gets me to 32 at least... Yeah, it'll get me to 32, so that means I need another 8 of these. So... 1... 2... 3... And then, like, 4... Um, well, iron farms produce raw ore. If I'm not mistaken, iron farms are based on the iron golem thing, right? Not based on... Like, uh, I, I, iron farms aren't actually iron farms, they're iron golem farms, and iron golems happen to drop iron. Um, so, as a result, you would still get iron ingots, which means, yeah, this is, this is the advantage to mining, is this craziness will happen. Okay. We need just one, one last little, little stack of these. We'll place it like, I don't know, over here. Okay, chat, this is the moment of joy. <laughs> Um, I've got a fortune, free pickaxe, 256 iron ore. I've got so much more. This is the first batch just to fill things out. How much raw iron? Guess an exact number, and if you get it right, then you can feel very smug when the chat replay comes in. Actually, wait, let's put it on screen. Okay, wait. Do it, do it now, and then, and then later you can, like, look back to this moment and be like, yeah, I'm the only smart one who made a correct guess. Only, only me knows... Only this one, right here, knows about what's going on with that. So what I'm actually going to do, just for... I need to get rid of some of these blocks, but I don't know how to, like, get rid of them, air quotes. Um, I guess I could, like, light a fire. You can't light a fire at the top of the world. Today we learned. Um, so yeah, we got, we got a ton of guesses over there. Looking forward to seeing who is correct. In a few moments. There is a mathematically best answer, but there's no way to be 100% sure because it's random. Every single block we mine has a different amount. So let's go. Let's mine. Well, that's gone to the ground. Let's hope it goes to the good ground. Okay, let's mine. Right here. Let's do this. There's gonna be a, there's gonna be so many stacks lying around. I genuinely am not sure how to deal with it. My guess is stacks 380... Six stacks. 384 raw iron. You know, I, I like your guess. Also, uh, Opaque Jake's has opinion on dating apps. I, um... A lot of people don't like dating apps because it's like, you've, commod you've commoditized dating. But my personal take, bad take maybe, is that like, you know what? We, we've we always commoditized dating to some extent. Um, it's just now we're like, able to do it better, more effectively. Is that terrible? Uh, depends on your your stance. I, I think it, it's like... it Because, you know, like re in reality, like dating apps aren't like big if you live outside of a big city. Uh, it's kind of like that thing of like... People become less valuable when there's more people around. And I think that's one of the problems dating apps will give you. But you know, that's your problem to deal with. Look at this, by the way, just watching raw iron fall to the ground. Right, let's go now. Let's do this. It's going to be beautiful. Going to quickly switch out to controller. Oh, the controller's not working. Let me plug it out. Plug it in, maybe. Hope it doesn't cause me to fall to the ground. Uh, oh, there we go. Nice. So, um, what do you think of the... Oh, wait, so... <laughs> Why did you move to America, and when are you coming back home? I'm actually in the middle of buying a house back home. Yeah, my, um... I, I got someone to witness the signature and my... my the, the house deed today. It, or the transfer deed. I don't, I don't understand. I'm not going to pretend I know things. And they're like, uh, you know, what are you going to need to witness there? And I was like, ah, da, da, da. and then I mentioned a mortgage. He's like, oh yeah, where about you buying a house? I'm like, London. Like, <laughs> anyway, thank you, Greek Cave, for becoming the 272nd mem uh, member and getting us to 77.71% of the place where, again, we we lost 250 members. 350 members in the new system is equal to the or the, the 250 we lost. And thank you for bringing me just a little step closer to that. I appreciate that. Um, 
So, uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying looking at yourself, chat, as we do an insane amount of mining. And again, remember, this is this is one this is less than a quarter of the iron that I have. And this is it takes this long just to mine it. <laughs> but the rewards for mining it, let me tell you, are those rewards good? Are those those rewards are some good things. Um but yeah I'm gonna Oh I should have made a spyglass so I could look from the ground up, shouldn't I? You know what? What a waste. What a waste. You know I'm gonna do this again. And I'm gonna Probably offended them. They worked hard to live in New York City and you're leaving. I it was it was more like um like bewilderment of like, whoa. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I I guess like I guess they like they know I'm renting a place because I'm renting a place from them. Actually, I don't know if everyone in this building is I guess not everyone in this building must be renting. I I, I can't get over Also wait, you don't get experience when you mine raw iron. I guess you still smelt it. In in my head, you should be getting XP when you mine this block, right? Chat, tell me, I know that you actually shouldn't, logically, but like, we don't use logic when we talk about things anymore. So, entirely illogically, don't you agree that we should be getting some experience when we mine this? Right? Right? No? Okay, just me. So yeah, this is, this is, this is so much raw iron. And I have to be very careful not, if a creeper explodes near here, I'm gonna lose so much of it. <laughs> and collecting it over all those years will have been silly. So we gotta... Maybe I should just come back in the morning, honestly. Okay, chat. Make your best guesses. Oh god, this creeper's coming. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put some stuff away. I've got five minutes from when I started mining that to finish up. And we're gonna... we're gonna deal with this then. <laughs> oh, that is... that is scary. Um, I thought we were gonna add experience to iron and gold. Maybe it's just gold. Um, maybe, maybe there is experience and it's just broken. Who knows for sure? Oh, this drink tastes so bad, but I keep drinking anyway. What is wrong with me? Okay, so I'm gonna put away my glow lichen. I'm gonna put away my deep slate redstone. Oh my god, I've got so many already. Wait, um, Rosie Farrow, you reckon I'd have six stacks? I have six stacks already, and there's a ton just lying around on the ground, so you might have been incorrect there. Uh, let me put my, my tuff in there as well, by the way. Okay, so I'm also gonna throw a 60. Oh no, I need to leave this on on me. Because otherwise, I would break things. I need to get this count going correctly. So if you guessed 384 or higher, you're still in the run-in. If you guessed less than 384, you were incorrect. Um, oh my god. Oh my oh dear. <laughs> there's a there's a lot of this, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna Okay, look at that. We have now got okay, mine the last three blocks right here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight full stacks. Wait, is that eight full stacks? Or, wait, five, six, eight full stacks plus 48. Eight times 64 is off the top of my head. Uh, 512 plus another 48, 560. So if you guess 560, Good job. If you didn't guess 560, you're bad at guessing. Get better at guessing. You know, this is why you haven't won the lottery yet, because you're very bad at guessing, and you should just refrain from trying in future. So yeah, now we can smelt some of this raw iron up. Although, interestingly, it's actually not worth smelting all of your raw iron. I'm going to smelt some because I'd like some iron, but you don't have to smelt it right now. It's not even technically a good idea. So just keep that in mind as you go forward for your life. Also, what you should keep in mind is that if you have some copper, which you better believe we have a ton of <laughs> lying around here, if you do have some copper that you'd like to smelt real proper, then all you gotta do... Man, I've been using lava... Okay, there we go. This is this is simpler. It's back to a simpler time when we can use real blocks. So yeah, now we can smelt up some copper. Just like this, we should have one. And I think you need two, right? Plus the the, 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 the amethyst crystal. And what we can make for ourselves is one of the, one of these bad boys. Oh yeah, it's the spyglass. Um, you know, I don't want to make fun of the spyglass too much because I actually think for new players there probably is some fun to this. I just I just think it needs to be like enchantable to make it better for long-term players. Like, do I need to zoom in on my cat's face? You know, does this? Is this really that useful? I would argue maybe not. Hello cat. 
Are you following my eyes? Are you... Are you following me? No, you look... You look dead ahead regardless of what angle I look at you at. Are you alive, cat? I haven't fed her in a while, so... You know? Prob probably not alive. You know, see? This is what a live cat looks like. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wow, that's so weird. Even if you do activate or deactivate the cat, you still, like, zoom in anyway. There we go. That's an alive cat right there. Look how alive my cat is, chat. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, uh, I really do think that, um, man, I've got a lot of raw iron now. You know, let's, let's turn a ton of it into, in, into raw blocks of iron. I've got some beam blocks now. Are you excited for that one, chat? No, I, I need to get myself an auto smelter. I think that would be smart for me to do. But yeah, let's also make some copper blocks, I guess. Ooh, look at, look how much experience you get, too. I'm level 39 and it still gave me that much XP just for eight of this stuff. Which we can- oh wait, I need to get like one more from each. Give me one more. And give me one more. And now I can make two copper blocks. So yeah, they did change the recipe since the beta. It's nine ingots again back to the block. Um, obviously you get so much for it, it doesn't really matter. And then you can place this down. And here's, here's the great thing you can do once you place it down. You're never gonna get this one right, chat. But once you have blocks of copper, also, cats, says Kid Goku. I agree. I've always felt like cats. And I'm glad that you feel like cats as well. We have a shared um, appreciation for cats. So, yeah, there's free achievements in this uh, update. One of them, very easy to get. Minecraft, yeah. but the Minecraft is Minecraft <laughs> Yes, exactly. Exactly, Cancerous Attitude. Minecraft. But the Minecraft is Minecraft, but in 1.17. Um, so we're now gonna throw out some honeycomb. Gonna place it on the block. Ooh, exciting. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna immediately uh, take it off. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, sad. <laughs> Where, where's my achievement, Minecraft? Give me my achievement. Is it is it there? Did it just not make a noise? You know, what? that's sad. Give it give it to me. I I I applied and I removed wax from all oh from all the copper blocks. Oh, that's that's interesting. That's 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 a lot of types of copper we're gonna have to do. Also, we have to team up with an axolotl and win a fight. Should be easy enough. And get a boat, get in a boat and float with a go. So we just have to bring some water with us. Uh, should be easy enough to do. And we'll go do that. So I'm gonna... I'm, I'm, I've gotta do something with all this raw iron. I don't know what, but I know I have to do something. Okay, let's go. Okay, so... Uh, I guess we'll make some raw iron blocks for now. And we can smelt it up later, maybe. You know what? It's... This, this is fun. But... 55... It Honestly, it feels like I should have more, right? All of that iron mining and all I got was 55... Like that, that feels like, ah, oh, that's not as much as I hoped. So I'm gonna put this 55 back in here for now. And then I'm gonna grab three more stacks. One, two, three. And I'm gonna, gonna do another little fun game before we go. Don't worry, I know you're looking forward to that chat. I know you love the mining with the fortune. If you change your FOV, the spike glass soon will change. Oh, that is a really weird one. Let me, let me, let me test that one out, huh? So it's in video settings, right? Well, I will not be loading up the menus today. Minecraft is the side. You know, the worst bit about this, sometimes the menu takes a while to load, and you don't have any, like, options to change it. You know what? You scarred me, Minecraft menu. Do you want to look real close at this sign? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's good. That's a good sign. So, yeah, I have this much iron ore still to smell after all of that as well. Some coal ore. Oh, not smelt. Uh, again, never smelt iron ore again. Never, never smelt it unless you're being quirky or weird. In which case, go ahead. Keep being quirky and weird. Um, so, uh, does the old worlds get copper or do you have to create a new one? It should work just fine for both. There is no good reason why it would be one or the other. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go... Honestly, we're going to have to smell a ton of copper. So let's just grab all of it. And let's check it out. Let's how much have we got now? 14 and 14? That's not nearly enough. I need 18 and 18. So what I'm gonna also do is I'm gonna uh you know actually we've got time. Let's go check on the 
Let's go get the goat in a boat one done first, because that's like gonna be simple, super easy. How do you find goats in your existing worlds is a really, really easy question to answer. Because you just have to find a mountain and you'll find goats. So this is a big mountain, which I have been near for a while. Ah, oh, there's- oh, look at this, we got two more lava, see? We can infinitely farm lava into more lava, into more lava, add, add infinitum, should we want to. So yeah, um, the, sometimes there is a challenge if you've got a really old world that your mountain might not be a mountain, but as long as your world isn't like eight years old, <laughs> um, it has to be like nine years old on Java, eight years on console and like six years on Bedrock, I think. As long as your world is like relatively new, your if it looks like a mountain, it'll still be a mountain. Let's fly through this, by the way. And let's grab the boat from over here. By the way, just realized we need that. Oh yeah, this is this is gonna have a nice goat inside of it. And let's go get a let's go get a boat through which we can put our goat. Actually, you no, know, maybe oh sorry, a goat through which we can put into our boat. So yeah, it's um it should be easy. I, I say I, I say that, but where are my goats? There are no goats. Do you see goats? You know what? It's a good thing I have this spyglass, because I can see. Is that a goat? No, that is that's a that's a very fluffy goat, if so. Okay, you know what? Is this a goat? Nope, that's a tree. You know, we tried. We're we're doing our best here, chat. Um, I'm, I'm I'm doing the only thing I really can. Um, also, do I? Okay, here are my golden carrots. Okay, next next idea. Um, where where is that a goat? That's gotta be a goat, right? If it walks and it's got four legs and it's in a mountain biome, must be a goat. So let's let's go check. Oh, it's not a goat. So that's, uh, that's not a goat. Actually, I, I actually do wonder if, like, this is a tall enough mountain for goats, maybe? Maybe it's just not quite... Maybe, maybe the goats need more height. Maybe they don't like the verticality I've offered them here. Uh, or maybe it really is, like, a weird, like, old world thing. Where this, this just isn't working how it should. It's hard to be sure which it is. The only way to really fix it is we just fly far away. What's my nearest mountain biome that's not here? Quite far south, actually. Um, have you heard of these? the cat that makes toys? Wouldn't the cat be made from toys, Mr. Kid Goku? So cat can't decide to not drink or to drink. I like having interesting drinks. They remind you that, like, you know what? You, there are different things out there. Or maybe it's really like, you know what? I just like suffering. I don't like that when you go to drink Fanta. Did you know I didn't drink Fanta today? Uh, you go to drink some Fanta and you're like, oh, this tastes pretty good. No, I want... I want my whole life to be really good or really bad. Why are, Why do moments even bother being in between? They know that's not what I want. Okay, let's grab another half stack of fireworks. Let's put our trident in there for now. And... Uh, oh, God. Should we, should we do the... We'll do the copper first. I know I'm being very all over the place here. You know, actually, no, I'm, I'm going to get this goat thing done. How do you find goats in your existing worlds when goats refuse to exist? What you do is you, you you go find a different place goats will exist. Where will goats exist? Oh, that's a skeleton horse just chilling there. You want, one sec, let me show you that. That is, that is just a skeleton horse chilling on my mountain. No idea how he got there. Like, I, I leave a lot of skeleton horses loose in my world, and there's nothing that can kill them because they don't drown. So they just wander around doing whatever. Good reason that you should, yeah, lock up your goats, everyone. I mean, lock up your, your skeleton horses, the original goats. Uh, is anyone seeing any goats? I'm not seeing any goats. So yeah, I, uh, what I recommend doing is just find a different mountain biome. It's a surprising amount of the world's problems can be fixed by just finding a different biome. And so let's go and do precisely that. Um, trader. Did you see a trader? I should find a trader. Gotta get me some new blocks, right? Click at is the go at, to be fair. You know what? Thank you very much. That's how you say it, by the way. You flew past a goat. You know what? You flew past a goat. You ever consider that? You ever consider maybe it's you who is the is the goat fly up, fly up faster? Um, you might have to go to an area you've not loaded up before the update. Uh, no, they sh they will spawn in existing worlds. I, I did very briefly test this. Maybe not unbriefly enough, huh? It could be that, yeah, they've updated some of them code in them. It wouldn't make any sense to me. Um, but maybe they did that. So, um, 
Yeah, I can't believe I missed the trader. That that tr that wandering trader could have had all of the world's. Oh, there we go. That's a goat. That wait, no, that's a chicken. Is this a? Why are there so many chickens and and sheep, but no goat? Um, lads, real verify. <laughs> yeah, I I find it um like you know what? in general. I think that assume assume someone's fake until you have a good reason to believe they're not is a good rule to use on the internet in random people's chats. Uh, it's it's actually funny. I, I feel like um, I feel like it's literally every stream, multiple times a stream. Often there's like someone just impersonating a big YouTuber just to say like hi. I'm, I'm not sure what like the end game on that is. Like secondhand fame, maybe. I'm not sure. You know. Like, cause be being famous for yourself sounds fun to some people. Like, wow, I would love for people to adore me. But like, I would love to imagine, I would love to pretend to be someone that people adore, so they will adore me. Is a, is a layer I can't quite understand. Okay, this is a. Oh, there we go. No, that's that's not. It. We found every white mob in the game today, but no goats. Not a single goat. So I need to find a new mountain biome anyway, because I want to find some new blocks. Um, any goats? You seeing them? I'm not seeing them. This is very sad. My life is eternally worse. I love the way the spyglass is held. It felt a bit weird to me until like now. I feel like Bedrock and Java always kind of like semi disagree about how blocks should be held. Okay, what do we got up here? This is this is prime goat territory. We're on top of the world right now. No, really, we're gonna do this to me. We are gonna do this to me. Well, that is a tragedy. Okay, so the plan is to find uh, a tropical fish in a bucket. Do I have one lying around? Oh, I know where I can find tropical fish in a bucket. Okay, so first of all, that was very weird. No goats, just never travel to a mountain. So, cat, do axolotls and goats only spawn in new chunks? They shouldn't, but they might. I again, I there is no evidence to believe they are. Besides. The one that I'm seeing with my own eyes. Like that's not a thing. That, oh, there we go. Go ats. We found them. There we go. No new biome needed for me. So how about I get two goats? Oh no, you have to. You have to do one in a boat. One goat goes in boat. Me gets in boat too. Me grabs me water. Me speaks like pirate. Apparent me. And uh, me places me water down. And there we go. We floated so very briefly there. Maybe we have to do it for longer, honestly. There we go. We're floating now. Let's go, like, onto the top of the block. Ooh, do you see that, by the way? Lightning. I hope you saw that on the camera. Okay, are you not seeing it? I'm floating. Why don't you understand this game? You know what? Let's just go into the ocean, then. Oh, no. My water. I want it back. <laughs> no. Okay. So, um, you don't need water to do it. You know what? You're right. I think actually, yeah, the, the Bedrock version doesn't need water, right? So we go to Profile, and then we go to Achievements. And then, is it there? Go, oh, oh. No, get in a boat and float with a goat. I, I maybe, maybe Minecraft Bedrock really does care if you're like, oh, no. Okay. Are we good? Did we do it? I don't know if we did it. <laughs> I... Chat, am I in a boat? Am I floating with a goat? Hey, I, I, I got it. You can't see it because it only shows up on the game bar. We just got it. Let me let me prove it to you. Um, look, look, look. Also, I need to do this again on my Xbox, so I don't know why I'm even bothering right here. But we did it somewhere. I, I don't know why it's not. You know, I did it, okay? You can... Oh, no, it doesn't show right here. It says that I haven't. I'm like, all over the place. You know what? Wacky. One day you weren't, and it was frustrating. I felt like I shouldn't interrupt with random ramblings of my own. I feel more comfortable <laughs> now. Underscore toy cat, big fish, colon, underscore toy cat, big fish, I, you know, colon, underscore toy cat, big This is the perfect time for that emoji, uh, Miss, Miss Pat Van Driver Lady. I always have trouble, like, again, the, make sure I'm saying that correctly. But look, toy cat, big fish. Every, you know Chat, I've, I've been making this big overture about, oh, do you want to support the channel? Become a support cat in chat. However, it, would you like to join the 272 people that can do an emoji of big salmon? I know you would. This is my appeal. If you'd like to become a member, now's a good time. If you don't want to, I'm going to quickly kill a glow squid. 
oh man, that noise is like, oh, it's just so much, you know? And then I'm gonna kill you as well. Listen to this one. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's something, right? There, there is a, there is a distinct sound being made there. Um, that's a, that's a big salmon. That is, this, this is the correct size that a salmon should be. Tell me I'm wrong, and we'll, we'll ban you from the chat. Yeah. I believe in, I believe in free speech. Except when you say big salmon is bad, and then I, then I, you know, that, that's how free speech works. Free speech is until I disagree with an opinion. Do you, do you think I'm wrong about that? Let's find out. <laughs> oh yeah, look, the, the salmon is so big it can't even fit in one spyglass frame. Okay, so big salmon is delightful. Um, I, um, I am now gonna go do all the copper ores, and then we could probably do the axolotl too. Because one of my wandering traders sells buckets of fish, I think. Not wandering traders. Actually, let's go find a wandering trader. I, I probably have a ton lying around my world somewhere. Oh, they've got to be new wandering traders, so... I'll go back to wherever uh, Rosie said we sent, had one earlier. And we'll hope, we'll pray that that is good enough. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to making glow item cramps, by the way, too. I'm going to put these, in fact, in the same chest. So I know, like, this is where glow item scrams go. I have uh, contracted the big sick take my tax. I have contracted the big sick take my tax and heal me. Oh, the... You know what, honestly, you know what, James J.T. Judd, how did you get it? You know what, we live in a post, post big sick era. There is no big sickness anymore. Um, you know, all you have to do is, you know, I don't even make a joke here. You know, ev every vaccine joke is so played out, I'm just not going to do it. I'm just going to go, you know what, uh, good job on being sick. What you deserve is you deserve to lay, like I, this is, being sick is on, if you're, if you're like a busy man, and I'm guessing you are, you got a bonus, that means you're doing stuff. People don't get bonuses for nothing, and, I mean, there's a, there's a joke in there, oh, look, it's a wandering trader llama. That means there must, oh no, that's just a llama, I'm down. Where was the wandering trader? I want to find it. Also, Desert Wells in chat, says Pat. You know what, Desert Wells too, I mean, they're not big Desert Wells, otherwise I would have big love for them. But they are desert wells, and that is important. Um, uh, Anti-vax kids out having having a midlife crisis at two years old. Very funny. Closer to the map. You know, what? let's fly. You know, what? we're wasting fireworks right here. But you know, what would be wasting fireworks is if I didn't. Was it over here? Interesting. I wonder. I wonder where I saw the the wandering trader. You know, if I saw him, he's gone now. Let's go. So how many copper variants are there, chat? I feel like there's a billion. Am I correct on that? I, th I think there's a billion. It's something like that. So we need, what, like, every type of... We're going to need a lot of honeycomb. We're going to need a lot of crafting. And it's going to be good. Um, I actually... You know, actually, I... Because I, my intention is to get every block for a video... I might just be saving myself a ton of effort on that one, honestly. Um, old, slightly, old, slightly new, new. A billion and one, buy, you get the idea. Uh, but you get the idea. Uh, Toycats Law states that any Bedrock livestream will eventually mention Big Sam. That any Bedrock livestream will eventually mention Big Salmon. It's like Godwin's Law, only minus the Navi scamp with a small mustache you know, and the big ideas of world domination. Why, why is that mustache guy from the 1940s so famous? Like, have we all considered just not talking about him? I think we should deplatform his ideas from our life. Like, wouldn't it be better if, like, if no one ever mentioned him again, and we just, like, forgot that he existed? I, I think that would be a smart thing. I think that... I, I don't see why that's not the the future solution for society. Why don't we just get rid of things that we don't like and hope that it doesn't come back and cause us issues later? I, you know, Toy Cat for President, 2021. Okay, so my plan here is to smelt... Oh, it'll take these, I guess. Man, yeah, the amount of the amount of experience I'm going to end up with... I need to I need to find, like, a good reason, good thing to do with all of this XP. The thing is, now you can get any enchanted book. Chat, what do I want all this experience for? Give me give me a reason that I want this amount of XP. Um, get bundles. You can't get bundles right now, I'm sorry. 
Sad for you for not knowing that. Okay, so soon we got something fun coming up. We got more iron ore, more fun guessing game and mining and all the fun of that. But um, ooh, look at my new clock. Um, but uh, it'll make funny noise. Get 69 levels. Get 69 XP for the memes. Will we ever do if Java adds big salmon? <laughs> then the only way Bedrock can get better is if Bedrock adds bigger salmon. It's gonna be an it's gonna be an eternal arms race. I uh, I think I heard jokingly, like I I don't know if I imagined this or not. I heard that they are considering adding big Java, uh, salmon to Java. Like obviously they're considering adding everything, but like that's like an special consideration. So maybe maybe it's happening sooner than we think. I'm gonna I'm just gonna craft eight new cauldrons right away, and I'm gonna work a tiny bit on this. Actually, let's yeah let's grab all the copper now. Uh, there's 36 variants of copper or something, so we're just not going to bother, actually. We're going to let that be a future problem. Okay, so, um, bigger salmon. <laughs> exactly, bigger salmon. That is the only way this can work. Max Enchanted Flint and Steel. I mean, I already have them breaking and mending. What what else do you want on my Flint and Steel? I, you know, this is the problem. You, you think you have it all, and then you find more that you also have. And then you realize you did have it. You know, I, okay, so... The most efficient way to do this is like probably rows. So I'm gonna do precisely that. I'm gonna, if this is the edge here, I guess, as it kind of is, I'll place a ton of cauldrons along here. And then we'll have a row of cauldrons like here. And then like also this, and then we'll pick these up as well. See, so for some reason people kept telling me like, oh, you need to do it. You need to have more of a space between it. It's like, no. I don't need any spaces. Then we'll have cauldrons be there. And then we'll just like... Ooh, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. And we'll just cover the thing in dripstone. Actually, maybe this isn't the most efficient way to do it. But like, I feel like going in, out, shake it all about, etc. Does seem like a good idea. And then we'll do the same here. Oh, there's a bit of a problem with how this is laid out. Then there's one there. And then I guess we also have to go all the way to the edge. Just to make this make more sense. Whatever. We we got our we got our, our dripstone in place. You know, actually I'm gonna remove this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break these three dripstones for now. And instead place them all the way over here. Dripstone. It's interesting because like having dripstone in the ceiling, it looks oh you can walk through it. Oh that's that's even weirder actually. Like I can't walk between these two, but I can walk between these two. Because obviously it's based on random block spacing. So you could make like a really weird maze based on that if you wanted to. And it'd be in, like, look at that, I can... It's so strange the way dripstone placement is. Don't know if there's a way to utilize it, but you better believe you should try. It's quirky, it's weird. Um, okay, let's get our farm going. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna put in some cauldrons later. I'm gonna, gonna have to smelt up some more of that iron. Wow, I need to smelt up more iron. If only there was some way I could magic... If only there was some way I could get a ton of iron. Except, wait... Did I prepare for this update? You better believe that I 100% did. And so we got all of this. And uh, also, thank you very much for the tip, um, Kaisarin. When you get refunded cheap cats, so you buy this. Hey, thank you, Kaisarin, for for the tip. I uh, I hope in future, uh, if you ever uh, want, you can. Uh, I, I hope at some point you decide to become a member again. Uh, I honestly, it sucks. I re I really what I wanted to do so bad is just let cheap cats stay. But then, like, in future, change it. You literally have to delete it as a tier. And delete... Oh, I think some fire has come through here. And maybe done some things. What do you reckon, chat? Do you think... <laughs> do you think some fire... Do you think having wood next to fire was maybe a questionable idea? Because if so, you're a non-believer. That's terrible. That's that's not correct in the slightest. This this chicken's gonna go through some bad things. Anyway, so yeah, now we, now we can, uh... Ah, there's already water in the bucket. We're gonna have to like put this down here and then we'll scoop up this lava and then we can place that down in a beneficial place and we'll scoop up the other lot. Honestly, doing it this way is much slower than all, but like it's, there's something so fun to me about farms that help you be, build more of the same farm. Like the more of this farm I build, the more farm I have. And there's something about that that you can't not love, right? Just the, the more you farm, 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 the more you farm. 
So I definitely have to place a lava block right there. So I get to go this one block further out. Actually, wait, I'll do it like there. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done to myself? Okay, I need to right now, right? Okay. Um, No time. Just got to fly. No, no time. No, God. <laughs> How is everything going so terribly wrong? Okay, so we're just, we're just... So that lava is, oh god, um, it's gonna cause some big issues for me. But first, that's a big issue too. Oh no, okay, so that's gone. So that's that's the first part of the problem gone. Um, okay, I've got a plan here. I've got, I, I genuinely do have a plan. I put the lava down in a little hole somewhere. Uh, I'll just put it in this cauldron for now. Then we scoop up the water and we're gonna make a big mess, but, oh lord. Um, yeah, when it gets down here, we just make it so it has to run into some water. Okay, look at this. Just... Oh, no. Yeah, there we go. That's... That's... Honestly, using water is a bad idea. I think we should just use andesite blocks or whatever. And then it's going to go into this little hole right there. And we've, we've solved it. We've... We've fixed the issue. And now it should just vanish by itself. <laughs> Oh, uh, so yeah, that was, that was, that was, uh, that almost went horrifically. I was really worried about the sugarcane farm. If it hit the sugarcane farm, things would have gone real bad real fast. But good news, it did not hit the sugarcane farm. We are safe to sugarcane another day. Uh, you'll be pleased to know. And I'm just going to stay at six hearts because I think people love it when you stay at low health values. And I'm going to leave these blocks here as a reminder <laughs> of what bad happened. And in a few years, I'll be like, why are these blocks here? It's the cycle of Minecraft. Or the cycle of me playing Minecraft. That went bad so quickly, says something out of 21. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... It got worse and worse and worse and worse. And I, I was impressed that at every turn that it could get worse. But it's a fun reminder that it can always, in fact, get worse than it is right now. Okay, so, um... Low health and random blocks. Ouch, by OCD. Okay, so to make your OCD better, you know what's going to be good? Is a lower game. So I've got a hundred and... What is 64 times 3? 192? I need to fix these little holes, actually. Let me, I'm going to go grab some dirt. I'm going to fix the holes for your OCD's purpose. You know what? Let's... Just, just for you, dear viewer, uh, Ryan. You know, you don't even have a distinctive name. How can I remember Ryan as a name? You're going to be like Ryan the, the Copper Block 360. Or... You know, um, the, you know, cat, cat of the toy variety, uh, 360. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be making these things. Okay, so we're gonna, we're going to grab some dirt. I'm just really dumb and slow. Grab some dirt, a whole stack, sure, why not? And we're just gonna fix all these little holes that are, oh, god damn. <laughs> there we go, 64 dirt. We're going to go out there, and I'm going to fix up these holes. And so we've got 192 more uh, iron. How much? Or we could, we could do something fun as well. You know, because I like... Oh, look at all this. These torches that have been ruined. Okay, so we'll, we'll like place those back down, I guess. Yeah, place that down there as well. There's also some others missing around here, but that's fine. Um, oh, there's a panda. I remember that panda, it's brown. It needs to go in the museum, really. That belongs in a museum, some could say. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna clear up this hole, and then we're gonna we're gonna do it. Everyone make your guess. With 192. Uh 192 iron. Oh god, I need to torch this in as well now. With 192 iron, what do you think I'm gonna get in terms of iron? Uh sorry, in terms of raw iron. Okay, there we go. Nice and good. Honestly, I, I don't know when I got this many creeper holes. It feels like someone came through. Like, I know it's me, and that's why I can't be mad. But, like, you know, I messed up here. And that's no good. Um, so, uh, are you... Sh do, 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 do. You should totally start a free build server. I, I have been considering making a member server of some form. Again, I... 
I don't know whether it's a smart idea because you have to get like all the moderation and addition tools and way to like, you know, like it has to be a whitelist, like you help people to add your, so you have to get someone to manage all of that. It's gonna be a whole thing, but we might be doing that in the future. Also, Lindsay O'Connor, thank you so much for becoming the 273rd channel member. Welcome to the club. Thank you so much for joining. Hope you enjoy your big salmon emote. You know, are you doing your big salmon emote in chat? I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look specific. If you don't want to say anything, just do a big sound emote in chat. That's that's all I ask. Okay, so 192 iron ore. Let's go. Um, so uh, you should play Minecraft. I think you would like it. Now I heard I've heard Minecraft is terrible. I've heard Minecraft is bad for you. That it causes you to it causes you to go blind if you if you look at it for too long. Um. So uh, uh, hello in all caps. That is a fun one. Um, but how many bean blocks will it make this KMP? You know, this is this is why you gotta do. It. Also, start hardcore now, please. Says gaming time. Actually, you know, thank you for for reminding me. This is a this is a big and important reminder. I'm gonna be starting a new hardcore world tomorrow. Um, please come to the live stream tomorrow, and we start a brand new world. Um, and it's gonna be one life. If we die, it's over. We delete it. That's how intense it's going to be. Um, so yeah, uh, can you farm dripstone? Not to the best of my knowledge. Oh, this is... It's so cool being this high up and just seeing the world fade into darkness. Right? It's going. It's leaving me. And that's half the fun. Um, are you going to use the everything seeds? Is Harrison great? I've, I'm genuinely considering it, actually. Okay, you know what, chat? Spyglass. Yeah, so if you're curious, can you look through render distance of spyglass? Sadly not. You can only see what is visible to you, which makes it like honestly, I I would I would say it is a useful item were it not for that limitation, because like if you could see through the void fog, that'd be nice. But I know why I know why they can't do that. But also I'm sad. So 192. Guess in the chat over there, and then feel real smug if you're correct. How many iron raw iron I'm gonna get mining with fortune free? Ooh, it's so bad. What am I gonna do though? Throw it away? It's made with real fruit. Zero grams of sugar. You know what? This is a nothing can. It's it's carbonated water, calamansi puree. That's terrible. That's not a that's not a beverage. That's that's just that's sadness is what that is. Um but yeah, thank you again, Lindsay O'Connor, for being the most recent member on the channel. I I like the support we've seen today. Um I, I am looking forward to some of the things. We're gonna be doing over the next week too. So, um, why are the stars rendering under the world? Do they do that usually? Isn't that what they're like? Oh yeah, you're right. Are there are there meant to be stars in the bottom of the world? Huh? Yeah, I never thought about it till just now. I, I think I think there is meant to be stars down there. It makes no sense that it is there, but you better believe that that doesn't stop anything in Minecraft. Oh no, it doesn't make sense. What are you gonna do about it? Anyway, so um. Why so many numbers? I'm confused. Says Mingabra. Uh, if you just joined, uh, we did a little fun poll to see how many uh, raw iron I'd get for mining three stacks of iron with a fortune free pickaxe. You can now get between one and four raw iron as opposed to one. And I mined all this iron a long time ago for this exact dumb reason. And here we are, seeing who's correct. You'll not have enough inventory space. Ah, that's a lie. Or. Maybe it's not. We'll see. <laughs> Actually, you might be right. Um, but yeah, it's 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 gonna be good. I'll go three seventy two now. You know what? No, you've already given your number. You've already put it in there. Oh, did you see that? By the way, if you become a member, your name shows up as green in the little on-screen chat. That's pretty cool. Do you see Miss Pat Van Driver Lady? Do you see Jack Cuff? You see all the see see all the see all the greenness. Do you want to? What actually is that? Is that a crown or is that like a? I don't know what that logo is, but you can see it, and it's fun. Um, so, uh, hi. You, look, look at this. Look at, look at your green names, making you noticeable. Um, but yeah, I, uh, very fancy. My name isn't green, says Phosphorus Fall. And that's a choice you're, you're allowed to make. I support your decision, whatever the color that results in it. Um, so, uh, yeah, I also think I should do the axolotl thing real quick. I might as well, right? It's gonna be, it's gonna be a pain otherwise. Let's get it out of the way. But first... Oh, look at that, by the way. Pink sheep. It's a very pink sheep over there. 
You like that? You like my natural pink sheep? I get a green and a little wrench, says Harrison. Oh yeah, you get both of them. The wrench is kind of ugly, though. The wrench is kind of ugly. No offense, Chantel. But your, your wrench is very ugly. You know what? Gotta, gotta improve that. It's, it's moderators who are in charge of their own thing. Okay, so as long as there's no creepers around here, I should be fine. Oh, just let me mine this block. Okay, there we go. We're good. So I'm gonna go pick up this last raw block for the day. And I'm gonna walk home. You know what? I need to do that. I need to I need to start walking more places. So I don't waste my fireworks stash so fast. Honestly, even when you're even when you're like running, it's just faster to like fly every now and then. Like it's just it just it feels better if nothing else. Message Susan for me to change it. <laughs> Susan, why are you doing this to us? You take you take 30% of all super chats, and you can't even use that money to get a better wrench icon. You know, it's very disappointing. I uh, know the, the, um, I, I, I sounds like play survival craft. I love it. It's like, you know, what? there's a brand new Minecraft update out. You know what I want to do? I want to play the weird knockoff Minecraft. So if you guessed, uh, this is, this is a interesting amount, actually. If you guessed that I would have Seven stacks, what is seven times 64? 420 plus 28, so 449 iron. Get to, You get to feel smug. Are you, look, are you looking back at this live stream after it's done? Hello, by the way. My live streams usually are very uh, chill and Minecrafty. I hope that this was something fun. If so, wow. There's an unlisted live streams playlist linked down below, I think. <laughs> um, Okay, so I've got water, and I've got my axolotl. Oh, it's an adult gold axolotl. That is very interesting. So I'm going to put all of my raw iron into the smelters now, because I'm going to need a ton of that. So we'll just, like, find this. And we'll find, I don't know, like, this. We'll just put it all in there. Just, just get a much, as much of this going as we can. do 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 do, 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 I know I'm baking potatoes over here, but <laughs> apparently I am. And then we'll finish up with, like, one extra iron, and we can't even put the extra raw iron somewhere, so I'll just throw it in here, see if I notice that in the future. And there we go, we now have a source of iron, should we want it. Uh, it's 21 iron divided by 7, it is. So we'll make some more cauldrons. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this axolotl achievement out of the way. Just because, you know, I want to do that. Most plot can be traded with a wandering trader, I think. Says Justin E. Yeah, you, I believe you can also trade for some of the mossy blocks. I forget which ones. It's very confusing. Uh, why not use smokers, says Era 404. You mean a blast furnace, right? I assume you mean a blast furnace. You know, why doesn't anyone do anything? That's the real question. We're not getting to the bottom off with this live stream. Okay, so now we're gonna go to a village. Okay, here's a pro tip. Villages are extra useful in this update if you wanna get your hands on, uh, I forget the actual exact blocks. I can find it out for you right right this moment. Um, if you wanna find yourself uh, the, you have to find a stonemason for, is it a stonemason? It feels weird that, no, it's just the mason will sell you dripstone blocks and the wandering trade, yeah, that's that's all you can find in a regular village. Whereas you can find rooted dirt, moss blocks, and pointed dripstone from a wandering trader. So I do need to find a wandering trader to get most of those other things. And I do intend to do that. Don't you worry. Also, I was hoping it would rain at some point today. Maybe it did rain and I forgot about it. Chat, if it rains, just yell at me that I need to make snow. That's that's what you need to do. Good night, Toy Cat. Hope you're well. You know, it's it's good afternoon for me. Can't believe you would think. Can't believe you would not know the time of day where I'm at. Very offensive, PM. It's good to see you too. Um, hi, VOD people, says Toki Studios. Yeah, I, uh, I, like, usually, it's, it's interesting because, um, the live streams that do best as VODs are the ones just after updates. But, you know, if you're watching this in the far future, dear live stream viewer, would you like to see more live streams? There are, there are some good ones out there, I right hear. I have been reliably informed. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find, is it a fisherman villager? I think that's what I need, right? I have to find my, my high, high tier fisherman villager. Will you tell me a, oh, actually, no, he's, he gives me 
three emeralds. No, I, I can buy a bucket of card for free. Not really what I want to do today, though. Oh, that's a really cheap way to buy buckets, though, right? That's a really cheap way to buy buckets. I'm Welsh. Hey, good to see you, Amanda. I'm glad you're Welsh. I wish there were more. You know, this this is delightful. I, I was going to do a poll of, like, uh, just to, like, trick people up. Like, what nationality are you? And just, just have Welsh as the only option. But you know, thank you for reminding me of my high-quality humor on myself. That's that's what this should really all be about. Just toy cat. Toy cat humors. Okay, ooh. We got more fishes. No. Okay, what about you? Are you, you a good fisher? So I can buy buckets of cod. I can't buy buckets of tropical fish. Did I trap an iron golem in here? Looks like I did. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the ocean where I was before, because I think there was some warm ocean out there, right? There must have been. You know, how do I not have a single tropical fish anywhere in this world? Where do I where do I put the tropical fish? Because I wanna get that I wanna get that achievement out of the way. Um So uh you can't call eleven PM afternoon. Hey Google! Okay, he didn't, he didn't respond. It's uh, it's 6 p.m. here in the UK, is my point. Why isn't there a Welsh cat here? <laughs> I, uh, we are actually uh, a lot... So many people have asked for a third tier of memberships. People love free tiers, like everything comes in free, right? And so we might just do precisely that. Um, that is the soon intention. What, what? It, it's a thought. Um, but, um, I, uh... Iron Golem and Cat in a Boat sounds like the beginning of a late 1980s TV show. And get this, right? It's like they totally don't go together at all, but they're there together anyway. That's crazy. That's every TV show. Yeah, I definitely have a bucket of tropical fish somewhere. The only question is where. And really, you know, what we'll do is we'll, we'll just, we'll go get one ourselves. We'll do this the old fashioned way, because I'm worth it. Um, in fact, I'm gonna get more bucket. Oh, I should have traded the buckets there. Really, shouldn't I? I'm gonna get some more buckets of water that I have lying around somewhere or other. Is it here? No, that's boats. Is it here? No, that's ice. Did I just leave the boats and the goats in the boat earlier? Probably was a bad idea. Um, you can't make candles in survival. What the hell do they do? Uh, candles for Minecraft Bedrock are coming in a future update. Uh, 1.17.1 is what I believe it's called. Don't quote me on that one, though. Um, but that's when you'll be able to have the brand new candles. It'll be good. Um, okay, so plan. Very, very good plan here is to go to the warm ocean, use my bucket of water to get a bucket of fish, feed the fish to an axolotl, then go get a drowned or something to fight me, and then it'll be good. Oh, I'll, like, mostly kill the drowned, too, just to, like, Really make sure. Oh god, the axolotl can do this. So here's my frozen never. Do you like it? If you are watching for the first time. Wow, very exciting, right? Um, if you have tropical fish in the chest, if you got your well planned out storage system, you can find them. You know what? But I looked at Dante. I don't appreciate the sass, but you're also correct. Also, novel 808 OAX. I do, in fact. It's it's apparently uh, that same tune is from a lot of Mario games. It's from 3D World, but also 3D Land. Uh, and also some other games. You know, lots of lots of Mario games have that same tune, is my point. And maybe that's interesting to you, too. Um, will Mojang give us the ability to combine a crossbow and a spyglass? That would be the worst item in Minecraft, and they should do it. I agree. There should be more silly combinations. Is it, like, quiet? Like, there's no music at all? For anyone? Is that just me? Am I imagining it? Does Minecraft even have music? Have you ever heard it? I bet you haven't. Therefore, Minecraft doesn't have music. Is confirmed. So we're gonna grab ourselves... Really, I should grab multiple of them. Shouldn't I? That'd be... That'd be the smart thing to do. We'll grab you, Mr. Tropical Fish. You are food now. There we go. Oh, no. Okay, we got it. And then we find a drowned. Shouldn't be too hard. Where are you at, drowns? Oh, there's more axolotls here. Honestly, I should come here with a whole bunch of buckets and just scoop up all the axe levels. Get a whole chest full of them while it's easy enough. Um, and then we're going to find some threat. You know, maybe I won't find a threat. Maybe we'll just go... Oh, there we go. Perfect. So there's a, there's a few moving parts to this one. 
But we want to fight the drowned. Oh god. Oh, the Eslon is already defending me. For some reason. I, that's weird. What's happened to the axe level? Are you okay, buddy? Why are they all defending me instinctively? Okay, go. Go. Help, help me out in this fight. Okay, so I, I fought a little bit. I'm actually gonna have- Oh my god. <laughs> Why are they all defending me so- Span, I, I tried so hard on Java, and it's just it's just happening here on Bedrock. They're just- Come on, don't, don't drown. Okay, is that good? I think that should count, right? Is that- is that good? Hit the drown, let the axe to kill it, and you get the achievement. I didn't get the achievement, though. I wonder why that is. One sec, let me- let me quickly... consult with the achievement list. Exactly what we've got to do. By the way, look at the- in the bottom left and right, look how nice those buttons are. Team up with an axe lotto and win the fight. Oh, you can see, by the way, I got my, um... So Wax on Wax Off is now here. And that's, uh, uh, wait one sec, I wanna, I wanna find this. I, they like to play dead for cover because they're too cute to die. Uh, that's a real fact I'm not making up. I've heard that, that that is correct. I'm dumb, I didn't think, I didn't know you were actually attempting the achievement. What, what do you have to do to, like, co-fight, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll feed it first, maybe? Find my perks. Yeah, axolotls are really common right now because they don't spawn above solely stone yet on bedrock. Um, maybe I've got to place down the axolotl. That's probably what it is, right? So, I'm going to let you fight me once. Then I'm going to place an axolotl down. I'm going to feed the axolotl. And then we're going to fight together. Gonna, going to really do this together. We are... Man, it's so cute that axolotls do so much damage. Like, they really- oh! <laughs> I love this little- oh god, I'm drowning, right, okay. I, I love that little healing state where they play dead. To get ready for the fight again. And then guess what? He's coming back. Can't stop him now. Oh, he's following me. Okay, you know what? You follow me as well. Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> Are they gonna make a baby axolotl at the same time, or? How does this work? Okay. So that should be good, right? No? Am I crazy? How do, how does this work? Am I... Brown X level is the best one. Yeah, this... This feels like an unintuitive achievement. Maybe I'm wrong. Do I have to, like, actively have fought in the last, like, five seconds, maybe? Yeah, I feel like... Okay, there we go. That, that was such a team-up... If that doesn't count, I don't know what does, right? Um, you can kill the monster toy cat, it just needs to hit it once. Oh, so maybe because I'm not killing it, because I've just... I'm le I'm, I'm, I'm making the axe level do too much work. That could be the problem. You know, okay, I'll believe it. Okay, so let's grab an axe level right now. Come after me, little cute, cute boy. Um, play dead, that's teamwork. <laughs> you know, uh, next, next time we have a fight, yeah, let's, let's just play dead. You know what? New relationship strategy. You're in a big argument, you don't know the way out. Just play dead until it passes. I'm just saying, probably works wonders. Okay, so Axolotl, here is a bucket of fish. So I, that this is us teaming up now. Oh god. Is it us teaming up? Okay, now, now punch me, Mr. Zombie dude. Now I can finish him. Okay, so me and the Axolotl did team up. Um, I, we, we did in fact team up, and now from that we can assume, you know, this is all very, very strange, right? All very strange. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, you know, we've got a lot of playing dead axe levels lying around here, by the way. Uh, you got the heart effect that time. Oh, that means I should have the achievement, right? Am I crazy? Did I get it and not realize? No. Okay, team up with an axolotl and win a fight. So we just have to not die. That would be winning, right? And an axolotl does have to be in- Oh, the axolotl's coming out of the water for me. Oh, that is adorable. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feed you one of these, buddy. Oh, there we go. I just got it. I just got it. I just got it, chat. 
Uh, the healing power friendship. Just to, just to show you. We now have the new achievement. Oh, it, it doesn't show in game for a while, but I, I, I did get it. The game is sure of that. So now the only one I need left for this achieve, this update. Again, this is this is my Windows 10, not my Xbox set of achievements, so we're, we're missing it. I only have 1,500 games score on Windows 10. Very embarrassing, I know. Because I don't play here enough. I should do like a full achievement run some evening. That might be fun. Uh, speaking of things that are fun, it was delayed. Yeah, I, I, bet, I bet it probably worked on the first one, but it just took a while. Minecraft achievements are like some of the slowest to report, I find. Um, I'm going to grab a couple of axolotls before we go. Where are you axolotls? Axolotls. Axolotls. Actually, I'll grab a tropical fish and an axolotl. I, what I want to do sometime is collect all of the fish. I need buckets for everything in Minecraft. It's very annoying. But I want to have every single fish. Like, Wouldn't it be fun? Look at this. I got a dory. I got a white sky snooper. Wouldn't it be fun to collect them all? It would be fun. If you think otherwise... Then you're not you, you've not got as weird of a collection idea as me. Okay, so um, if I can't wait for the hardcore. Hey, Don Donnell, St Donnell Stallings, tomorrow is gonna be a lot of fun. We're starting a hardcore world. I'm a little nervous about it. I'm uh, I'm like, I've got to balance this like want to be safe with this like fear of everything else. Um, but that's what's that's gonna be that's what's gonna be fun. That is what is gonna be fun. Um, so yeah, you you looking forward to a new series? Tomorrow, we're doing precisely that. Today, though, I've had a delight uh, streaming. I hope you've enjoyed watching this, uh, because you know what? Apparently, I wrap up live streams in a certain voice that now you can spot. So in that case, I'd like to say thank you for coming along. I, over the next few days, there'll be some fun, maybe update-themed videos. Who knows for sure? And also, tomorrow, we're starting a... A hardcore let's play. A hardcore... Is let's play even the word? A hardcore world. Um, the plan is to do three mega streams. So it's going to be a really, really long stream. So like, get your get your boots ready. Uh, get strapped in. Say hi to me, please. Hi to me, please. See, I'm funny, Myra V. You're welcome. Um, but yeah, thank you for coming along. I hope you enjoyed. Because tomorrow is going to be a big day. Or is it? It is. Hardcore on Bedrock. Yeah, the uh, you can only really guarantee a hardcore world by making it public. It's a whole thing, okay? Um, controversial subject. Is it a good or a bad sign if you never have big fights in a romantic relationship? If occasional big fights are needed for a healthy relationship, how uh, how often is good? You know, I'll finish on this one. Let's let's do it. Let's finish with the controversial topic. Um, I don't I don't think I have the correct answer on this. I I'm inclined to think that having like, having no disputes would probably be good, right? But having fights to resolve them is better than not having fights. if Or not resolving them. Not having fights and still resolving issues is pretty better. Goodbye, Cancerous Attitude. And goodbye, Miss Pat Van Driver Lady. It's going to do text-to-speech, but I got your question. I just want to make sure it shows up on screen. So that you know I'm not just making up my own uh, thing. Thank you for watching. Subject. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Sign if you never have big fights in a romantic relationship. You know, chat. I'm glad me and you don't ever have big fights. I'm glad some of you decided to become members today, because I'll see you all in the next day tomorrow.